neighbors, nieces, nephews. Um, we're back. Another episode of Meet the Connect. My partner isn't here, DJ OC. He's taking care of business out on the road. But we are here. We have a very special guest. As you can see, I have normal Reggie's and exotic Red Bull for this guy. If you don't know who this is, who the fuck you looking at right now? It's the motherfucking dog. Snap dog, man. Welcome to the table. Once again. Once again. Yeah. He is back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back again. Uh, we appreciate your, you you coming out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, You can pick pick your poison or your, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I go back original. Re regular degular? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I had to try school. This is actually, I was hoping you didn't pick this one. What's that? Watermelon? Yeah. No, that's a uh, dragon fruit. That, that ain't, that's too much. That's too yeah. much. Okay. I, I knew you was going to like at least one of them. So I yeah. bought it, got at least three and shit like that. Yeah. But man, I just want to start off, man. How you feeling? It's the holiday weekend. Like, what's what's popping for Snapdog around this time? Uh, I just dropped my new single, man. On God, you know that's one of them TikTok bangers. You know, I stepped outside my box and you know did some you know little shit for the people. So that's going crazy right now. Everybody actually loving that one. Uh, just steady working, man. Uh, focus on getting this motherfucking fight, and then just steady dropping music and just. Keeping my head clear, you feel me? I just lost one of my artists, you know what I'm saying? R.P. Lil Hen. R.P. Lil Hen. Nigga, you know, dealing with that shit, but we gotta stay focused and keep the shit going for sure. Hey, make it count for something, huh? No, that's a big fact. R.P. Lil Hen, man. Yeah. And, and that kind of, this is why I wanted to ask, because, bro, you just lost damn near, you said it's your artist, right? Yeah. Love like, and when years. you have an artist down there, that's damn near like your family, because you gotta. Provide resources. You got to look out and what you doing, checking up on them, all that good shit. Like, yeah. and I haven't seen you take a fucking break. No, I don't take a break. Like, do you feel like it's pressure for you to keep going? Like, cause when you lose somebody or anything going on, you you got the right to be like, all right, let me chill out. If you got a nine to five, nigga could take a, a week thing. off. You've been still you out here, you doing this thing. Like, why you don't? Feel like you can take my a break. manager, my manager, you know, my manager Floss, we, he had to, you know, cut it to me about that shit, cause he like, nigga, you don't never, you don't never grieve, not like, you feel me, you gonna end up letting that shit out, you might crash out, cause that's how I was with my daddy too, like, as soon as I seen my view, my daddy body, I went straight to the studio, you know what I'm saying, like, and then years is like, I'm trying to learn how to deal with that shit, but then years is like, I um, right now I can't control. It. You feel me? If I do that shit, I might not come back to Snapdog for a while. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I gotta get I gotta get this to where we're going first. Then I have my own private time when I can. But right now I gotta I gotta make this shit count because it's like if I crash out, if I do some crazy shit, that's gonna fuck up everything. Now this shit don't mean nothing. We just did this shit for nothing. But it is hard because it's like people don't see what you're going through. You feel me? They only see the jewels, the cars, you having fun. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what come behind that shit. They don't really, like, you have women think like, oh yeah, I didn't have women tell me on you know, some shit like, oh, cause you wanna go have fun and what do you? And I be like, bro, that ain't my fault that my job consists of me having fun. Yeah. And your job consists of you getting cussed out by your damn boss you don't like. It. I chose that path, you feel me? But it is hard cause it's like, man, you gotta, no matter what, I don't show weakness. Like, and it's fucked up that it's like this because this is, how the world look at us as rappers or humans, if we on the internet complaining about our feelings, we get looked at some type of, you know what I'm saying? So no, like, a I deal with all my emotions, like silent, like people. I, I'm so active on Instagram. You. If I'm not on Instagram three, four days, people was calling my mind, people concerned, like, hold on, I ain't been posting what's going on. Cause I'm so active with that shit, but that's what I've been learning to do. Like when I'm emotional, I just get off the internet. So I won't say the wrong shit. Okay. I'm about to say like, but with all the stuff you got going on, like you say, you just lost an uh, artist. Like people that, will understand, bro. Like that, people it, understand. It, I will understand as a fan, you know what I mean? Yeah, it do, but it's just like at them times, at, at, it's like with me at my worst times, I work the best. So that's another reason why I always stay working. And I'm not even gonna lie, like with this one, like this one hit crazy. Like yeah, this look, like, cause I actually try to change Little bro, like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I took him on his first plane, had him around thug, you know, I'm showing him so much. And it's like, this is like one of the first persons that I actually, I got videos and pictures rich from the day I met you to the day you left. That's so right. Like, that's what make this shit kind of fucked up. Cause I just look at that shit and just be like, damn, 
what I could have did or, you know what I'm saying? But I know it ain't my fault, but it's just like, you know, when you lose somebody, that shit's different. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, nah, I put a battery in my back to go, go crazy. You feel me? So. I got a question for you. Like, you such an energetic motherfucker, man. Like, on the, like you said, you, you active on the gram. Mm-hmm. Which we gonna get into that too? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause that that fucking uh, DoorDash shit. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> <laughs> they be fucking my shit up too. Nah. Come on, man. Man, y'all gotta do better than that, bro. Did they even touch your shit? Fuck around and shoot one of y'all motherfucking DoorDash niggas, bro. Don't do that shit no more, bro. That did, shit is not cool, bro. Did they really? You seen a hand? You, you seen handprint bro. in your rights? Like literally, like you could tell, like or you fuck you think it. somebody? Handprint. <laughs> it was empty. Like literally, oh, like shit. three little pieces of rice, and then you know how the rice comes small. Rice really low key look like rat shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like three little rice hanging in that motherfucker. I swear to God. Like I'm, I can't fuck with it no more. But, but, and it's so crazy because the day before that, I'm talking, I'm talking to some people, and I'm asking them about that. Like they do that shit, and they just got to bust out laugh. Like hell yeah, when I door dash, nigga, I be taking some nuggets and shit. I'm like, bro, y'all do that shit for real? And like, yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, hell, nah, y'all niggas crazy. I can't I'm do that shit like fucking nobody food, bro. Y'all tripping. And the next day, the shit happened to me. I'm sick. Hey, low key, <laughs> if you a nigga that DoorDash, you taking food from niggas, I can't fuck with you. I ain't gonna lie. You you hey. tell me that shit, I'm gonna be mad as fuck at you. Hey. I ain't gonna lie, dog. No disrespect to your people and yeah. shit. But me personally, nigga, come on, man. Nah, nowadays, bro, it's just like you. As you, soon as you get, as soon as you come for my shit, I'm I'm gonna know you pulling up because it's show. I'm gonna be at the door with the gun. Hey, hold on, stay right here. Let me open this real quick. All right, everything good, you can go. <laughs> you yeah. got to, cause you, you've had the world we living in now that y'all niggas touching niggas food, bro. I ain't gonna die behind that shit. I can tell you was heated, bro. Hell yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> and I was, really, I was hungry as fuck. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna fucking watch the TV oh, like, oh yeah, shit. I'm Gucci. Hey, when we put this back, we gotta put the clip with that shit. Cause oh, yeah, that, 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 that shit was hilarious. I'm but, John but, Morant, that motherfucker with but, this F-E and Boo. What I was getting to, bro, like, you such an energetic motherfucker, dog. Like, you always present on the gram. Like, who who the person that picked Snap up when Snap, like, who, who, when like, I'm when you, cause you ain't gonna have, nigga, it ain't no Red Bulls in the world, nigga. You got so much shit going on. It's gonna be a time oh, where you, like, yeah. you got kids, nigga. Hey, I got one, so I shake my hand. I know, I know what you go through, and I can't even, I'm, I'm six lower than him, less. So, like, who, who, who you got to be like, it's cool, Snap, let's, let's go. It's, not, we, it's good, it's Snap, really, let's go. It's really my whole circle. That's Literally, right. Like, my cousins. Definitely, uh, my mama, she ain't going for that shit. My mama, my like, Hey, look, nigga, we ain't doing that, nigga. Cut that shit out. You know what I'm saying? And then my manager, you feel me? But yeah, yeah, my whole Bronco boy team, man. Everybody, everybody around me, bro, you feel me? And I'm low-key the baby for real, for real. That's crazy. Besides the other underneath me, I'm I'm the baby for real. Like, I got a whole thing full of cousins, bro. I really ain't had to go be with cliques and shit like that. That's bro. a blessing. There's a lot of us. That's Bronco boys and, you know, that's added with my friends that I, I love and fuck with and trust. So that's how that is. But nah, man, they they, they all pick me up, man. And my manager, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I be stressing my manager out, bro. Like, cause Floyd says, but he understand me though. Like he don't, it ain't, he don't get frustrated with me or nothing. It's just, like he under, he know how to break that shit down too. He be like, nigga, nah, nigga, we ain't doing that. Nigga, it's bigger than you. You got yeah. your cousins, you got, come on, snap. Like, yeah. if you make that move, it affect all of us, not just you. Like, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Even when I'm in my feelings about the music, like, I might feel like I'm getting overlooked or something, and nigga, yeah. yeah, break it down to where I'm like, ah, oh, damn, you know what? I don't even trip about that shit. We work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So everybody around me, man, like, just everybody, because everybody play a part in their own ways. Yeah. Like, I got one specific person for this type of situation, one specific person for this type of situation, you know what I'm saying? Because a nigga been through so much shit. You know? It's like my people, they've been through the shit with me. Like, if you look at the same motherfucker that's around me, and you go to my first music video, it's the same, same motherfuckers. Niggas. You feel me? A couple motherfuckers, snake motherfuckers, we cut off, but you know, yeah, we got a real. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, man, that be the one that that picked me up, man. And it's hard. It's, I ain't gonna lie, it's hard because it's like if when I'm in that that angry mode, yeah. like motherfuckers think I'm energetic all day, nigga. When I'm mad, ah oh, mm. man, I probably run through a brick wall, nigga, for real. That's I that, and won't feel it. Like I be in a whole, I black out type shit. You know what I'm saying? I can believe it. And it just be. <laughs> It just be man, it's like man, shit I've been through, bro. No, it's like I, I don't play with, I don't play. Don't play with me. I don't give a fuck about it. I'm looking at the camera. Don't play with me. I'm a cool nigga, humble. Fuck with you, you fuck with me, but don't play with me. Like I, it's gonna, don't play with me. It's not gonna end well for you. It ain't good. 
Have you ever seen a nigga see your mama some roses just show you how close he can get to you? Don't play with me. Actually, bro, I want to say this, dog, because you said your team is cousins. I've always been jealous of niggas with tight-ass cousins, bro. Because <laughs> I don't have, like, like I'm like the youngest yeah. cousin, and, like, I'm into shit that my cousin's not really into, and then the cousin I really talk to, they're younger. And yeah. It, I don't really have the niggas that, like, oh, I'm going to cuz. Like, that shit kind of, like... No, I ain't gonna lie, that uh, shit fun, bro. That shit is, that shit be looking fun. I'm jealous of niggas like you, bro. The shit, as we was kids, the shit we used to do when we was kids, like, nigga, like, we, we really, you feel me? Like, it's, that shit a whole nother breath, air, like, man, I could be, I be my family, nigga, like, these niggas. Nah, that's crazy. You know I, I, I hate niggas when they do the, hey, cuz, you remember this? I can do that. Yeah, nah, we, got, we got a lot of shit. We got a lot of funny ass moments, man. Beating niggas ass, taking niggas shit, you know what I'm saying? Stealing cars, all type of shit. My stories wouldn't have been nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't trying to have those with my cousin. But hey, hey, Bronco boys. You know what I'm saying? You see them lit. You see what the fuck on there? You see them lit? Yeah. Them lit with your cousins, though, man. Because it's like the same time you see how real that is. Yeah. And y'all going through a real situation type shit. So it'd be fun when you make this, when you make it up out of that bitch. It ain't fun doing it. When you make it up out of that bitch, you get to laugh at it. No, that's big facts. Yeah, I just seen sure. somebody on a... Uh, on Instagram, some dog called him trying to steal his car. He made the young boy strip. And old boy on it, his boy like, "Hey man, I'm I, you got me always in this bullshit." Like he he tell like this your part, like you know what I'm saying? Hey, like nah, he a hoe. Yeah, that that's some hoe ass shit. Yeah. Like if you came, bro, just yeah, accept you, you came. It out. Just and if you got out. your problem with your man, do that later. Yeah. Like don't do it in front of dog. On like, camera. Yeah, yeah, you you went out bad. Yo, oh. man, you went out better than a nigga who who strip. But he gonna get looked at like a real nigga. I ain't gonna lie, I'm running. If anything, I'm running. You on camera, you ain't about to shoot me, bro. You about to shoot me on camera? Hell yeah, nigga, you broke my car. I didn't break in there yet, though. So how you get him? They he got they got caught like by, about to break it. So they ain't even touched the car. I don't know how far it got. That's yeah, the only that, the part of the video I just seen the strip part. If they ain't touched the car, they should, that dog 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 mm, get in some shit okay. because technically they was you feel me. If he touched the car, they handle your business. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, them niggas stole my Durango, man. Yeah, they just did that. That's I started crazy. to set them niggas up. Go to, go to the same spot and put the Hellcat right there. Oh, Sit in the whole car. You a the bad man. Thing. Oh, it's Friday. You ain't. <laughs> That shit had me so. Different, that shit had me so. I ain't hey, brought nigga at it, man. Why nigga ain't stealing from me? You feel me? But it was more so, damn, I got caught slipping. I wake up, then they did it. They died on a lot. I was more so mad for my daughter, bro, because my daughter just came back to the city. To take her on a field trip. Oh, man, I go outside with my daughter, bro. Bitch, gone. My daughter had to go to the field trip by herself, bro. Like, because I'm hunting down and looking for the wick. That's crazy, bro. Not the, not in front of the kids. Man, what, bro? Like, yeah, y'all niggas hurt my baby on that one. That's I, crazy. I, yeah, I was ready to put the Hellcat right. They're going to come for the Hellcat. Oh, yeah, no, they call sure. them. And just sit right in the whole other opposite car. As soon as you touch that bitch and get in, boom. They, they stole my little Hyundai Sonata. That's another story. You know them boys. <laughs> Them bitches hot like hotcakes, so you know, like they still in the kids, huh? Yeah, they, you know, they, they, put, they put little phone charges in them, and they, yeah. they getting the bitches up out of there. But let's get it to this though, bro. Like, is it going down? I think it was five hundred thousand. It was on AD shit. Shout out to AD. Yeah. And blue face. It, 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 hey, look, I look. Hey, you say it, we we the connect is there. <laughs> Man, do it in the city too. Well, y'all said Cali. I want to do it in Cali. You want to do it in Cali? That's you. You on some? I want to take you in your crib and, and beat your ass. And then I, it's I'm just gonna it. be like a. It's, it's just gonna be like a uh, a Detroit LA party because we everybody was gonna party after that. No, that's a fact. You that's know, it's gonna be lit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I ain't I ain't gonna lie, man. Shout out to my motherfucking city. Shout out to everybody, man. That's because I ain't gonna lie. It's like one of the you know the first times in a while. I ain't gonna say ever because it's been like that when I came out. But first time in a while, so it's like not just even my city. Like I'm seeing the whole world like team snapped up when it comes to this mm. and shit, and that's shocking. Cause I be like, shit, what the fuck this little man when I'm dropping this music? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, boxing gonna open doors that rap that rap can't do. Not so okay. you know what I'm saying? Just to see that man, that shit, that shit giving me energy, man. And yes, we is gonna do that motherfucker fight. We're gonna get this shit down. It's not coming up with the 500k. Mm. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I just lost my artist. You know, RIP him. And we're gonna get back on y'all ass in a minute. Don't worry about it. We there. Yeah, man, they got me fucked up. 
And when they came to the city, me and, me and Blue, we, we, yeah. So, look, 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 bro. Yeah. It was that Blue. Why the fuck didn't I see a face off in the middle of the fucking stage, bro? I'm like, it's gonna be some type of. Cause I put it together, I said, oh, this nigga performing that blue. I was gonna DM you, but I'm like, yeah. I know he's gonna set this shit up and I wanted to get an initial you, reaction with your ass. You know what the fuck, fuck, bro? You know Come on, you know how viral that would've been? Do you know how if y'all just think of this? Do you know how bad my phone went off that night? Motherfuckers like, snap. They, they in the city with the old People was calling. You had people calling just like, nigga, just let me know. Then you had people calling like, uh, yeah, he in the city, do y'all got beef? Like, clubs was like, do they got beef or something? We're like, no, nah, nigga. I fuck with Blue. Like, nigga, we boxing. We about to get a bag. That's all it is like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I was in there. We, we, it's, it's a video. It's a, people got video of us. Well, we ain't have a bro, face come on, bro. People got video of us in there. I like, don't know. Like we talking? Got, yeah. I ain't see face it, Face to face like this. I didn't see it, bro. Yes, I was, it, bro. When I when I really pieced it, and that, that lets you know that lets you know how much you know thrill I am is like, cause I didn't even come out and say nothing. After the next day, when they perform, nigga, the whole city like, nigga, what snap was that? Who? I ain't even say nothing, nigga. Like, you know, cause at the end of the day, I came to show love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, y'all in my city, I fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure y'all straight. We we showing love in this yeah. business. Don't get me wrong. Krishan, she a fucking star, bro. She had that motherfucker going. Yeah, I, like I you know what I'm hit, saying. I just got hip to the 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 vibe. Yeah, she she, she, she had that motherfucker going, man. And you know what I'm saying. I performed that night too. No, right? you did. Yeah, right before they came out. You feel me? You so, did everything you were supposed to yeah. do. But I was expecting that. But I'm I'm actually glad it turned out that way because anybody else in your shoes would have tried to like make something happen yeah, like nah, i'm about to stand yeah, next to yeah, you i'm about to bump yeah. this nigga or do any extra yeah, shit nah, like you know, you niggas gonna happen you know, what the fuck would i start someone yeah. about to beat your ass to get money yeah why would i do that yeah that's see that what the the, the dumb mindset motherfuckers yeah. go you fuck up your money because you taking some positive shit to mm -hmm. some personal shit when it's not even like that like yeah. nigga, we trying to get the bag and just like you know what i'm saying with this this manager whack nigga whack know what's up with me just like how you said what the fuck did nigga say, bro? He in an interview. Uh, I was lacking. I didn't have my gun on him. In oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, look, he said something like, "You, he had to tell." Uh, no, you, you said you had to tell your man. What's that right there? Zoom in on my pocket and look who on the. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, I, hey, look, I don't know what it is, no, but I know no, it's some heavy artillery there. No, oh, no. oh yeah. And what is that in my pocket? That is a fact. Come no. on, man. That is fact. He he was insinuating like. But you was like, on, nah, man. bro. It was it was a whole different place. Nigga, like, I ain't never lacking. Fuck you talking about? Yeah. Never, nigga. I ain't need lacking in this interview. Fuck you talking about? So, we we, we whack, man. Cause I know it was the thing where he was about to sign you and shit. Like, what what's like y'all relationship like? Because that nigga, I, I, he he's like a master troll. And sometimes I don't know when he when he trolling. But he he slick with the words like whack no, what up whenever you in the city whack, you know you can whack, come sit right here too whack, 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 he is smooth he's like, like he know what the fuck he doing no, whack, he, he fuck with me you know what I'm saying like nigga, he, he was like allowing me to pull up to the studio with him and everything yeah. he, he he fuck with me whack ain't never disrespecting me he ain't never did nothing until he made that goddamn post and I got on the phone with his ass like nigga don't play with me talking about my, talking about music nigga don't play with me you know what I'm saying you know how it is you know what I'm saying even on AD shit you yeah. know what I'm saying when we was talking yeah. he know what it is with me man you know but no it might fuck with me it's just at the end of the day he just you know what it is I'm gonna beat some <laughs> artist ass nigga of course nigga you feel me? And I know Blueface. And you know, probably I don't probably give a fuck either. Long as the bread, Blueface will probably give a fuck. I ain't gonna hold you up. Blue ain't scared to fight me, nah. bro. Blue wanna fight me, bro. It's whack that don't want him to fight me because at the end of the day, that motherfucker, you gotta realize, bro, this like, this like some Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia. Like, whoever take that L is bad for y'all, you know? Oh, and that's another thing, man. Salute, salute to them, Blue, too. Like, it ain't gonna be no walk in the park fight. You know what yeah. I'm saying? This is gonna be a good ass competitive fight. You know what I'm saying? I know he gonna bring what he got. I'm gonna bring what I am got. Man, I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't gonna knock him, but the last fight I seen him do, he better go get them damn tools worked on because I seen so many goddamn mistakes. Then he ended up with Floyd. Then I thought y'all niggas couldn't go to Vegas, though. Didn't they tell me that? He in Vegas right now with Floyd. Mm. Mm. Thought he couldn't go to Vegas. Legally, he, he, he couldn't go. But they in Vegas right now. Come on, man. <laughs> Something ain't right. Come on, man. Something ain't right. I'll 
don't know what's going on. Something ain't right. What's going on? You training with Floyd, that shit still ain't gonna do nothing. Nigga, I'm still gonna beat your ass. Nigga, fuck you talking about? That don't mean nothing, nigga. Floyd cannot teach you what this what this ass about to do to you. He can't teach you shit to something. So, so like usually how that how that celebrity boxing shit go? How many rounds is it? Like how many minutes? Four. Four rounds. Four or three minutes. But his last one, I salute him. He did five. No, he did four. They did five. Everybody else did five. He did four. So I, I'm gonna ask you though, like. It's, it's different. It's different type of fighters. And, and yeah. he got he, he he tall. He got the reach. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He yeah. got the reach. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think you got the skill and the power behind your punch and stuff like that. Yeah. But like, is you going in Javante Davis style? Is you on your Floyd Manny Mayweather? You on your Deontay Wilder? Like, <laughs> like, like or, or you don't want to reveal that? If you don't, yeah, I can't reveal that. Okay. I'm, I'm once curious. they know my game plan, they gonna stop from me. But just know this. I'm going to pack the fucking world after this, nigga. We're on top of the world after this. You feel me? Because who going to, anybody else going to box me? When I, when I, when I show my skills in that, in that ring, anybody going to be like, yo, he just did this with a nigga who's, what is he, 6'5"? 6'6". 6'6". He's the tallest fuck. Like, bro. nigga, they going to be like, they're going to be like, it's, it's over six, with, bro. Six, Nobody can come out and say shit. They're going to be trying to put me in there with Jake Paul after that. I ain't fighting Jake Paul, though. Jake no, Paul. Jake Paul, he, Jake Paul down there. He know what he doing. No, that's my dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you you gonna go try with Floyd? Like, come on, Jake, we about to go train. Y'all don't wanna play with me, bro. I really do this boxing shit, bro. That's the thing about it, bro. And one thing about these niggas, how niggas just started this shit. Even whack. You don't know about you don't know boxing more than me, man. Just yeah. like niggas go home, watch them games every Sunday, whatever, nigga. I'm watching boxing every Saturday, nigga. And I ain't even just looking at no Javante, Ryan Garcia. Y'all they don't even know about they ain't even know about Lobo, uh uh that uh what you uh who he just fight? Uh, Devin Haney. Nobody even knew about him until he fought Devin Haney. See? That's what I'm saying. So it's like, niggas be talking about this boxing shit when you don't even, you don't even know the analytics yeah. and around this shit, nigga. The fuck you can't even tell me, nigga, who, who, got the, who got the title for featherweight, heavyweight, middleweight? They can't even tell you that. But they showed you on us. Complain or say something about something. Nah, no, nigga, what it is, nigga. I do this boxing shit, nigga. Yes, I'm gonna whoop his ass, nigga. And yeah, we cool. It's not, it's not, you know, this all positive, you know, sportsmanship. This ain't nothing to, I don't know, nigga taking this out. Oh, bro, you woo. Cause niggas to try to do that shit to run away. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all love. You feel me? I'm gonna knock your ass up, pick you up, knock you back out again, and we gonna go to the fucking studio. We gonna go to the club. We whatever one you wanna do, but you gonna need a pair of glasses when I get home with you, guy. A shiner. You gonna need these? That's just what well, you mean. might not. These might not be enough money for you. Oh man, y'all in a different tax bracket than me. And I, I, these I, little two hundred dollars joints. You I, know I what I'm saying? Respect the simple you know fact that they even giving me the opportunity. Oh no, that's because they could have. You know, in the beginning they was no, no, no. But then you wanna say a number that you think. That one gonna get like that. Nah, it's, it's up. That's all I needed was the number. Nah, we gonna make this shit work, and we gonna make it happen. I don't know when, but we gonna make it yeah, happen. When, like, when you find that, I want to do it this year. I want to do it this year, but everything gotta be right. Paperwork gotta be right, and then I know he got a couple. I think he got a, a few fights or a fight coming up. So I know Wax said in between that, like shit, we can get it in. So. He, it depends on, he might get his ass mopped up the next fight. And that's why I need this fight now, because once he takes right. it off, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. over with. You need, to, you, need to, you need to bounce back. Yeah, yeah. Whenever but you they find still a see that though. They still come see that, though. That's a fact. Because whoever he gonna box with, nine times 10, will probably be in his weight class, so they ain't gonna really look at it like that. They're gonna be like, fuck that fight, nigga. We want you to fight snack. Because oh, yeah. even when he won that fight, nigga, they like, nigga, we don't give a fuck about this. Who is this boy? Yeah. Nigga talking about some motherfucking followers and all that man i've been having motion around this bitch and always gonna have motion man yeah nigga lost his instagram but come on man, man. That, that's, i ain't lose my motherfucking pop that that's instagram what niggas don't understand shit. the instagram shit feel like yeah nigga, you when you you know that i don't know if you like a marvel fan and all that shit like yeah yeah, yeah. when the nigga got the infinity stones you, you lose three yeah, of them for sure. you gonna <laughs> for sure. for come sure. on now nah. like come on like nah, hell yeah man we're gonna get this shit going man it's just one thing about me man this is this i've been waiting on this moment down there my whole rap career you feel me? And it's like shit. I'm I'm gonna pull it off. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get it done. Definitely. Like, I ain't even gonna hold it. After up. after after Blueface, cause we gonna that's that's we make it. That's happening. Yeah. After Blueface, like, is there somebody else that you kind of like? I info like. All right, right you. I, I'm on. Nobody. I don't want nobody. Damn. But him. <laughs> nobody. But Blue. <laughs> nobody. Damn. But hold on. Nobody. Why I got these goddamn keys in this bitch? Nobody but him. Blue face, baby. <laughs> him. Nobody. I'm gonna make blue faces 
and knock out blue face. Woo! You feel me? Because at the end of the day, it, like it, don't make, it. it don't make no sense, though. Like, real shit. You feel me? If I go fight anybody else, they're going to say, oh, snap, you were supposed to do that. You bully. But anybody that I fight next, it got to be somebody who's already, like, who boxed. If yeah. I go just fight somebody who never fought in the ring, nobody never seen, it look like I'm bullying. Yeah. But if I go fight somebody else, it's, it makes sense. But guess what? They don't want to see that. You gotta realize, rappers have never been in a room together. Never. Yeah. That's why this is need to happen. You feel me? Anybody else? I don't want to do it. It's, it's what? What for? You YouTube, all that. It don't mean nothing. Like, I get the money. I get the money gonna be there. If that bag right, then I'm going back in. You know what I'm saying? But it just. If, oh, the, I think the bag, the bag is going to be right. Oh yeah, it's gonna be right. This is definitely the bag gonna be right. No, so sure. like, I, I think you need to. You know, plan your next next fight because after this, people gonna want to see you. Yeah. Especially, I, I I plan for you to be electrifying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I plan this nigga to be electrifying, throwing the hands. I do expect a knockout too as well. You know what I'm saying? But if it don't, I, as long as my guy win, we good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. And you get that bread. That's got, cool. We gotta you know turn up. We gotta do that, man. We got to, man. It's like shit, nigga, man. You know, then niggas try to say, oh, he cloud chasing. How the fuck is cloud chasing when somebody agreed to box you? No, that's, great. that's not cloud chasing. That's just me pressing the issue saying, nigga, let's do it, nigga. Yeah. At the end of the day, I've been calling niggas out for years. So when somebody finally agree, hell yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. Fuck do you mean? I get to shut my talent off. The fuck you mean? I love this shit. Come on. Man, I know you love this shit, so I know you got an answer to this question. Yeah. It's a hard question for me. Cause I'm not really a, bo a big boxer, so I don't watch all the time, but the big fights I might take or uh, Devin Haney. I can do that, man. <laughs> I need to know because this is the this is tough. Cause I heard they had a sparring match. I heard that, and I heard Haney got the best. But that's a sparring match. Listen, Tank could have been sparring all day. And Haney, he, I never, I never met Javante Davis. You feel me? But I study and watch that man. You know what I'm saying? He's a legend. Uh, Devin Haney, that's my little brother. But I'm just, like, I ain't gonna hold you up. That's gonna be a good ass fight, man. I need to set up. That's going no, it's gonna happen. But he got to take the Shakur fight now, cause somebody got him or Shakur got to win. If, if he got to beat Shakur, beat Shakur. Okay. Shakur, I'm saying the nigga Steven Shakur. I don't, you know, that I don't even know who the nigga is. It's no, he, he would take punch now. Nigga. Okay. Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a big hey, I'm not a big boxer fan. Boy, I know that's, Triple G. That's one of the, the youngest the smartest Canelo. boxers for real. For real. He got to fight him. Once he fight him, then definitely have to move up, and then he can fight uh, Tank. But the thing is, is like. From what I seen of, of Haney last fight, because I was there front row, you know what I'm saying? Good fight, you know what I'm saying? It was a good match. Only thing is, he got to, he got a couple things he got to work on. Bro. He won that fight, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, you see me? I, he won that fight. <laughs> <laughs> he won that fight I'll put the shades down low on this, because I, I didn't like to watch it. You got to realize, too, the other all Devin got to do is go back, you know, look at his mistakes and work. If they're saying in this video with him and Tank Spar, mm -hmm. and they went to the end, yeah. and and no, Devin got the best of them. You feel me? Devin know what to prepare so Devin can take tank power, technically. You know what I'm saying? Everybody might be like, no, no, he can't. This nigga. We get that that nigga is motherfucking Mike Tyson strong, but if they sparred before and he didn't drop Haney, what do that tell you? You know what I'm saying? And this fight that Haney won, like everybody was mad, I had to say something. You feel me? I, I get, excuse me, I get it. It's the Red Bull. I get it. Everybody looked at Haney like, okay, nigga, this is the chat. So, when you getting hit that many times, of course they're going to feel like that because they never seen you get hit that many times. You know what I'm saying? But this is boxing. At the end of the day, when you take it to the scoreboard, if you really look at it, Devin won. And I'm going to tell you why he won because the shit that, that he was throwing, dog was throwing, mm -hmm. he was missing too. Yeah, he blocking that. That don't count. You going to the scoreboard, scoreboard. But if you so great and so hard, like everybody say, why you ain't that Devin hanging out? Yeah. You ain't even getting to the campus. That man took belts from everybody who had those belts for, cause he's what? The greatest. He got all the belts, not just one, two. Niggas that say you the champ when you got one, no, and boxing, I don't mean shit. You need all four of them bitches. He got all of them. So, all of them had that and, same type of shit with that fight with them. You feel me? Like, nigga, he won that fight, bro. Do you, think, do you think that's the Floyd Mayweather effect? Cause I, like, how you saying this, like, nigga was throwing a lot of punches, he blocking them, but it probably looked bad. Yeah. Like, don't give Floyd, me Floyd don't make the misses look pretty. Don't, like, give, don't give me like, I think that's the Floyd don't effect. If it don't look like that, niggas think you lose. He was hitting David Haney with some shit. Okay. Good. Like, don't get me wrong. This is the first time I've seen an opponent, you know, come at bro like that. But that's the thing. That's why he's a true champ. He defended it well. Yeah. 
he ain't fall, he ain't drop, no nothing. Even when he got caught, does and he got back on this shit, this boxing, that's just like my fight. Everybody like snap you out, it's nervous. I say, why? Man, he was hitting you. I say, nigga, that's boxing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You going to get hit. But he won that bitch, bro. I'm watching it. He won that motherfucker fight, bro. Don't get me wrong, bro. He brung a, a dog ass beast, bro. He, he was fighting. He was fighting. But at the end of the day, this is why people love knockouts. Yeah. So yeah. you can't even be it's worried about nobody robbing. If you say you getting robbed, you ain't got to worry about that. Knock the opponent out, my nigga. Yeah. If you the greatest, knock him out. Because when you go to the scoreboard, it can always be, oh, ooh. see, Haney ain't got to knock you out. It would have been good if you did, but why would I take that risk? I got the belts, nigga. Yeah. If I lose, nigga, you on top. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, my thing smart. is, I'm going to defend. With the, I know y'all want to see knockouts, but oh, yeah. hold on, nigga. He hit me a little bit too hard. Hold on. You feel me? Let me work that scoreboard because he's not going down. I see this nigga not going down. You got to realize this nigga from fucking Ukraine. Yeah. This nigga over there eating bullets. And I think the eighth, is that where, uh... Nigga, he went to war with them. <laughs> Boy, nigga, when they call everybody, nigga, he he's, went, yes, that nigga, nigga went. Oh, we got, see, we got so. See, people don't even know who he is, nigga. He stayed over there. He stayed over there with the over there, nigga, to go to war. He on, he on Instagram with the gun, say I'm not leaving. Oh. He went to war for Ukraine, bro. Of big, course that nigga ain't about big, to go out. Big props to Haiti. He the nigga that fought a boxer and a soldier. You feel me? Ain't that like, a bitch? How the fuck you do that? A part time boxer. Yeah, boxer you still uh, out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Niggas gotta salute that, man. That's why even so many people had some shit to say about that shit, bro. It was like, y'all don't need to watch boxing on a day-to-day -day basis. I gotta say this man lost. No, I get it. I get it the way it look. But when you take it to the scoreboard, it's different. Well, That's I'm, why you gotta get the knockouts, bro. I'm looking I'm looking forward to the Haney and Tank. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Snap says it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? I'm not it's educated. Going, it, it might that's gonna happen. It, it depends on the pie, how it's that how shit happen next year though. That's gonna be fun. Like that, cause him and uh, Shakur, that's the next fight for Haney. Okay. And that's that's gonna be Shakur next fight. Now you got Crawford and uh, Earl. Earl Spence. Okay. They about to die. That's the next big fight. That's like a, a Tank and Garcia too. Both of them niggas, them niggas. Shit. So I gotta ask you this question. Um, cause rapper, right? Yeah. Boxing. You did movies too, right? Stepper. Stepper. Yeah. Step oh, Stepper. Yeah, Slider. Sli all that, you know what I'm saying? What about reality TV? You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga has the personality, repping the D everywhere the fuck he go. I think this will be a good representative, and he's gonna be authentic. Like, I don't think he's gonna give no bullshit up. He's gonna be the snap dog you see right now Man, my on boy. camera. It's a lot of niggas that be on reality TV faking this shit. Like, I think if it was anybody. I'm hold you up. If I came on a reality show, I'm fucking over everybody. I'm even fucking over blue shit. I ain't gonna hold you up. Cause my life behind them cameras lit. Have you have you thought about it though? Man, my girl, she been wanting me. She been telling me like, yeah, you need to do that with you. I'm like, man, that shit. Like, I don't, I don't, I ain't know. I don't know about all that, bro. <laughs> like, this shit getting put out to the public. This nigga gonna be beating the cameraman ass and shit. Like, the nigga, too, like the nigga too nosy and shit. Like, yeah, that's nigga, what the like, nigga there for to do his job. You gonna be wanting no, to kick the nigga out? It's crazy that you say that, man. Cause even little Scrappy, man, Scrappy was like, snap, bro. They want to do one in Detroit. He like, bro, you need to get on there, bro. Like. But he was telling me and shit like they don't really be having privacy. Them cameras be yeah. then they then they be setting up dramas to make the shit go. Nigga, my driver, the cameraman might be shot. You know what I'm saying? Even with the women, like nigga, motherfuckers is crazy. Yeah, motherfuckers is crazy. crazy, bro. So it's like I don't know, like you know that would be lit though. You know what because I'm saying? you like one of the like it's because you do shit outside of even just posting music. You yeah. you are entertaining. entertaining. You sure. know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. just your personality. So like I can imagine you. Hey, I'm watching Flick Class, Love and Hip Hop or some shit, or that's something like that. And I see Snapdog on that bitch, and I'm like, oh. and I'll know. be like, damn, that's Snapdog. That was, Boy, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I do it right for the love of Snap. Give me 10 <laughs> For the love of Snap. 10 women. Yeah, we're going to last to the end. Oh, my yes, God. Yes, sir, like, that be what, what, what would be the criteria to get on the show? Like, what, what, like how many, you say how many females? How many? Like females? 10. 10? Yeah. Okay, ten females. Is it what they, what they gotta? Is it gotta be thick? What, what's going on? Like, is it certain? We ain't we we nothing like that. Just whoever we on this. Discriminate ten women. Like, yeah, ten. Don't get me wrong. Don't give me no fucked up ass ball women. Nah, this shit on TV. You feel yeah. me? But it ain't just about the looks. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta realize this pride. This, this, this snap dog. You gotta be snap dog. Like, you gotta your shit gotta be with snap. I ain't just no. 
nigga who just chill back, quiet, fresh. Like you, yeah, you gotta be on that with me. Like, no, that's you crazy. gangster, you, you, you like that? You know what I'm saying? Not no pop off motherfucker who gonna get us took to jail, but <laughs> but a motherfucker, you know, that's like snap. Who you got? Who you got the, at the judging table with you for the uh, for the like the? You know, I'm thinking if you got ten, it's probably be like a hundred. 50 what? auditioning to, to be the 10. Yeah. So like, who you got? Like, it's you and who who else you got? It's like, yo, yo niggas that's gonna be like, nah, that, nah. Like, <laughs> like, you lie. better record the audition. You better record the audition. that type of shit, my whole crew would be in that bitch. <laughs> they won't even let me tell them who. Them niggas would be coming through the door on my head. Nah, bro, she come with me. <laughs> like, I don't know, man, but it's, it's a, it's a work thing for the love of snap. So yeah, snap, if you man. think about that, man, you that should be lit. Do they get a, Do they get the the dog part afterwards? Is that like the? Would that be? You know what I mean? Like oh, yeah, you snap. At the end, you get the little. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You, you snap. You snap. We gonna make sure it's real. You for the love of fucking snap, man. For the man. love of snap. That should go crazy. I'll take over on that. But I, I just wanna, I wanna get in there. I wanna, I want that music to get where I want it to be. Yeah. Then I get to venture out having fun. But I low key need to start doing that shit now, though. No, be fair. You are, like I said, you already doing. I seen that skit you did with that. Uh, the he the sales yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. And that's that was so fire. Crazy. That was fire. That's that was so fire. crazy, man. I've been I've been doing that skits with, with every comedian who's booming right now. Like every comedian who's booming, and they when I when I was in my prime, I was always showing love to them and fucking with the comedian side and everything. That's what it is on my page too. Like my page kind of be it show you me. You get to know me through my page. It ain't just no music and when I'm fresh. Like you're gonna see me having fun. You're gonna see moments, all type of shit. Cause it's like. My friends, they get to grow with me, so that's yeah. what it's all about. Like I ain't flashy nigga, I ain't none of that. We got that shit, but I ain't, I ain't that. I ain't that type of nigga. For real, for real. Speaking of music, bro, do you feel like I feel like this? Uh, like I said, I was waiting to ask you all this shit till you got to the stage. Like I thought, I was thinking about DMing you. Like, you know, <laughs> was Six Rings your favorite project personally that you made? For some reason, listening to it, I'm like, I feel like this is his favorite one because the shit you was trying. Musically, it's like I felt like that you made that album kind of like for you yeah. in a way. Like that—that that was me. That I mean, I be looking, I be trying to look deep into the artist. That was when I found like, cause taking no chances came out before that. Yeah. Taking no chances, like that bitch is a banger, and it was just like me and my manager, we just like nigga, we gotta top that. Like, yeah. and when I when I was in that mode making that, it was just like I found I found my snap dog son. Like back then, I used to be you know. Yelling on tracks, I, I found how to have fun with the music and stop being so serious. You know what I'm saying? Like certain shit you say a certain way, you know, and just have fun. So I ain't gotta talk about killing people all the time. That's my I'm always gonna he, 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 he be talking about getting his little yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> she bought little yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. No panel. You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's what my manager uh, be bro. My shit. niggas be they be like, bro, you not you, bro, you live a crazy life, bro. You don't need to talk about it, bro. You always gra ba ba. Nigga, you really nigga cars, jewelry, nigga, motherfucking Cribs, nigga, the motherfuckers you have been around, like nigga, you don't never express that, nigga. You just had the Javante Davis fight on float on the floor, so you ain't rapping about that. A mirror fit, I don't want type of shit on you. Ain't, I mean, you know, so, like I never thought about that. Like you, low D could be one of them real braggadocious ass. Yeah, guys. like yeah, nigga, all these niggas front, that, front row at the, you know, how niggas be dropping yeah. shit like that. I don't like you really just be on some. <laughs> all these niggas that be talking that cash. Yeah, you can I, really do I, that. I can get on that, but it's like. You know, I got music like that, don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? So that's gonna get released soon, but hell yeah, yeah, man, man, they, man, stop playing me, motherfuckers. I wish motherfuckers would play me, man. See, I'm not the type of nigga, you ain't gonna know what's going on with me. Yeah. Motherfucker, oh, do snap out there, do yeah, Nigga, we good. I'm just ain't gonna, if that ain't your business, come over here trying to touch some shit, you gonna die where you stand. You feel me? But hell yeah, man. But do you, I mean, I think you should try to, you know, tap into that bag though a little bit more. Like at least release the shit that's like on that type of time because you never know what, you know, yeah. niggas like hearing you in the music. Like, okay, yeah, like, I, I can thing, see that. Like, on, uh, I think Detroit, the, uh, the, the, uh, Discuss, or I think it was, De I don't know, Detroit Town. I think it was, it was or it's, right, I think they, they're all different pages. Yeah, they're all different okay. pages. It was one of them though, but I seen a nigga. Uh, was like, Shout out to them, by the way. Yeah. They all fuck with me. Yeah. Shout out to them. It was, I seen uh, some of my artists. It was like said something about like drill music, and he got like he got mad over there. One of the uh, uh, I think uh, Tiz got mad. God boy Tiz got mad and said something about the drill shit. And I understood both sides. You Hold on, like so what? what he was that? like basically like niggas, niggas, niggas. So what? Niggas supposed to 
listen to niggas selling drugs all day and shit like that. And he was like, nigga, you can't get no money listening to y'all drill niggas. And I said something. And I'm like, nigga, I understand both, you know, both of y'all point of view. I say, nigga, that's why I just made myself versatile because yeah. I understand that our city ain't no drill city. They like the fresh shit, you know what I'm saying, and all that. So it's like just some music, you got to make it like that, you know what I'm saying? Everything ain't got to be drill. They ain't basically telling you, like, fuck with you. Doing is just like, like I know me, like, nigga, what I'm doing, that, say for instance, like the, how the city do Viz, PZ, Ray, all that, like, my drill is going to pack, like, the baby trying to yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because our, our hoods and our city like that shit that you can ride, get money to, you know what I'm saying? And that's the shit that I'm going to start releasing to, because I got that shit, but I understand it, like, I don't get mad. Yeah. Like, damn, ooh, I understand it. Like, all right, cool. Nigga. When I drop this shit, talking about cash shit, then y'all gonna fuck with it. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm people that, the more music I drop, my city is is, is growing on their ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's like, damn, we ain't know we can do this. Damn, we ain't, damn, he ain't yelling no more. Oh, he smooth this shit. Oh, he talking crazy. Ooh. So they understand it. It's, it's, it's all growth. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I had to learn, I had to grow, I had to be in certain positions and just learn how to work myself out of that shit, man. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro, this shit, this shit stressful, man. Like, no, I understand why these rappers be taking drugs and on the internet tripping. Niggas be looking at them like, ah, you dummy, goofy nigga. Nah, bro, that motherfucker could probably do anything for his family and they stole from him, fucked him over, they they, they sick. They ain't got nobody that they can call on. Like how you said, snap, who can you call on? Yeah. I got a supportive team. If I had that, man, I'd probably be out of this bitch trouble. Oh, you know what I'm saying? We need that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, look, I get it. We celebrities and all that, but we human too. So it's like, when you going through certain shit, you gotta stay strong, my nigga, no matter what, stay strong. Cause every new level is a new devil, man. Hey, and that's a motherfucking word, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that's a motherfucking word. So, uh, yeah. speaking on music, I want to. I just want to tap into this real quick, cause it's to me it's been like a big. I mean, last time we was here, we talked about Glow Rhythm. She she going crazy. And that, she going crazy. She didn't do the remix, but she put Cardi on it and she posted it. Yeah, I told she you. Did? Nigga, you oh, you see that? Oh yeah, she did post it. She did. Yeah. Post it. She did post it. Shout out to you. You a real motherfucker. <laughs> but uh, like in the city, bro, it's like it's like a wave of just like. Is there any like female rappers in the city that maybe you would collab with, or maybe that you find up that's like okay, she she holding it down? Because right now, really the only one that's like you, we got cash job. We don't got like how we got like, a gang of motherfuckers that's kind of like the baby money, the yeah. baby all them. Like we only got like one right now. I'll say cash job. You know what I'm saying? I see baby vanilla coming. Yeah, she pretty bread I was coming. About to say her. Yeah, you got Jasmine. You feel me? She coming, uh, Blueprint Bentley. I actually, I actually got a, a, a artist from Flint, female artist. My first artist, she first mm. Bronco girl. Yeah, she her name Jay Renee. She hard, but as far as my city, bro, I want to work with all the women. You know, like, cause at the end of the day, these women come crazy. Bro. No, they they talk. You they know, talk. Ratchetness back. It's, you know it's, it's, they, it's in full effect. It, it's almost getting bad uh -huh. to me. It was like this: the ratchetness with the street shit, because. At first, city girls, you know, send all the rich ass nigga whoop, 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 whoop shit. That bring all the bitches out to go get niggas with money. Gorilla came out, the deep ass voice, whoop, fuck nigga free. I'm at BET Awards, I'm, saying, I'm just watching niggas stand up. Fuck nigga free, whoop. I'm like, oh, she just changed the game. If you see nothing but all the ratchet is back. Ratchet. It's back, it's blowing up. Look at Sexy Red. The, the, uh, I'm out of town, riding with my, all this you happens at the glow. No, no, this Glow Rhythm kicked the, she yeah, kicked this, the most. So now, they respecting the women way more than ever, bro. And I'm not even gonna lie. I'm respecting this shit more because I'm seeing it. Like, nigga, Chicago, nigga got, nigga, cash. Who was the, uh, Mellow, Mellow? Mellow, Mello, nigga, I, I just, Mellow, just. That, she up, scared, nigga, you know she scared me. Like, she scared me. I seen that and how she talking, I'm like, I'm not ready for this. She too, nigga, that's too gangster for me. What? She talking like the niggas. I love that. Her, it's another cash from Chicago, man. And we got some in the D, bro. What well, happened to the nurture like, and mother? Don't get me here. wrong, like, we don't got no, we don't got no, we, we got them female rappers in the oh, D man. talking that shit. I ain't even gonna hold you up. Yeah. I just ain't seen no female that came like Molly Brazy. When Molly Brazy came out, Molly came on that gangster shit, sticks, all that, you know what I'm saying? That's what's, hey, they love it. We love that shit, bro. The shit they be talking. 
I just really bit this bitch. Ooh, 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 yo, nigga, I'm all. Oh, they mixing the sex and a gangster, nigga. They don't get no better than that. And they, and they, they will make it crazy. These women writing their own shit. No, that's a fact. They go dangerous. The, the thing I don't like though, when y'all say, get off my dick, though. That's like, but that, I mean, that's the that's the gangster shit, I guess. So, but I hate when I hear yeah. females like bitches on like they on my dick. Like, I just, I just but that's the thing that you gotta realize when they rap, they in that nigga mode. They in that nigga mode, so it's gonna come like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it's gonna come. But hell yeah, man, I wanna work with man. I, I done reached out to all them women too. We working, we, we got shit on the ways, man. Uh, Paris, you feel? I got. I, I, I oh, fuck Paris, with that she just dropped some with Babyface. Uh, nah, she from the Bay. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. I'm picking yeah. up somebody else. Yeah, but hell yeah, my man. I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm working with. I'm gonna work with all the women, bro. They, they hard. I like they work ethic. I like how the, how the females coming out of Hell yeah, that's what it is, man. I want to work with motherfucking niggas in my city, too. You know what I don't like? A lot of motherfuckers be thinking I don't fuck with people from the city. Bro, you probably one of the... Like, Come motherfuckers on, be like, snap don't be, like, in the mix. And that's the thing, like, say for instance, like, how they come out with a, a list. People will get mad that snap dog ain't on the list. Or, you know, uh, certain motherfuckers will be on certain songs, they get mad about that. And I, like I tell motherfuckers. It's, it's, I don't, I fuck with any, anybody from my city, nigga. Yeah. I got music with all these niggas from back in the day. Vez, nigga, DT, nigga, Peasy, nigga, yeah. uh, everybody, anybody with a name, nigga. We didn't got videos, Cash Kid, nigga, everybody. We got music out, you know? It's just, like, when motherfuckers be like, oh, yeah, they ain't say snap, man. I be like, I ain't, I ain't tripping on that shit because at the end of the day, if you ain't in that room with them same people, why would your name get brought up? Snap be in his own world. You know what I'm saying? We be all in the same places, but it's not being in his own world. You feel me? We didn't got music together and all, and then the shit is gonna come genuinely. I'm not no nigga who just, oh, yeah, woo. Like, I know these niggas fuck with me genuinely, and I know, nigga, everybody on their rise right now. So when that shit come, we gonna get on that. You know what's crazy that you say that? Cause that's some real shit that, you know what I'm saying? You saying you're not in them rooms with them people, so they, why would they say your name? Why would they say But you know what's crazy? I feel like you a nigga, Regardless of what room you in, if it's a nigga that deserve it, you gonna they say that name. Oh yeah, I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah. it, but it's crazy that you get it on the other end. Like, I, I get it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like you one of them niggas that will be like, go, you know that's why? my man. Go, go get that. Cause I'm some real. You, you would do that. That's some real shit. Niggas ain't made it. Really made it. like niggas. Niggas got a. Niggas ain't made it to the level I was when I first came up. You feel me? Like niggas like they on them levels. You feel me? But it's like at the end of the day, it's like I don't care that hate on you to make myself look good. You got some people with this fame probably hitting their ass yeah. and they don't know how to control it. You know what I'm saying? These niggas, they having their way. When motherfuckers get to having their way, it's like shit, they get to doing crazy shit too. Yeah. But it's like, me, I understand it, bro. I never, any nigga, any fucking big name down the fucking Drake and Thug, nigga, I tell you, nigga, I ain't never in my life, nigga, sat in a room and said, I don't fuck nobody from Detroit or hating on the next man. Never. And they speak up on all these niggas. I'm the type of nigga, I call your phone, nigga, or DM you and say, hey, what's your number, nigga? They talking about you, nigga. They want to get on the phone with you. They ask these niggas, best, all these niggas, bro. Them, just like, bro, niggas, them niggas are showing me love in the beginning of my career. Danny always win all that. Them niggas are showing yeah. me love. So, like, niggas, vice versa. Like, nigga, Trippy Red wanted to fuck with best. <clears throat> I hit best right on the line. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Get that shit together. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to speak on it too much because I don't, I stay out that shit, but. I, I, I'm gonna say it, but nigga, I'm the one who got Dirk and Lil, uh, Dirk and Youngboy cool, bro. I put them on the phone. Mm. Before all this bullshit happened. Mm. Dirk can tell you and Youngboy. Mm. Youngboy called me from jail. I That's put Dirk crazy. on the three way. You know what's crazy, bro? Like, your flex could be so crazy, bro. Like, you know how niggas be saying, like, how Dirk can make Houston and Houston yeah. at 4 a.m.? You could be like, a uh, phone call with NBA young boy. Like you can name a track that cause it's real. Yeah. Like you got so many stories that could be like a title of a song. Cause that's what niggas do. Yeah. Like on the phone with Snoop or some shit. Cause you done been and one, here. Thing, and and one, Drake, and one thing about me, bro, I got proof of all this shit. Nigga, back from when I first came out in 2016, I got proof of every move that I ever made, my nigga. Like everything documented. Like now I'm coming out with my documentary soon, but man, I didn't, bro. I done connected a lot of dots for Detroit. Even T will tell you. T came home, I put T with dirt. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, instantly, oh yeah, nigga, we going to these schools. You know what I'm saying? 
it's niggas will tell you like, bro, that nigga genius, bro. He ain't no, he ain't like that, bro. Like he ain't no hating ass nigga, bro. I never beef with no nigga over no bitch, no none of that, nigga. I, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm focused on the bad. Now, if a nigga blood getting yeah. shit and a nigga playing playing with the money, then that's a different story. But off of he say she say, like I I don't, I don't move like that, bro. And it's like niggas gotta understand that shit, bro. How this shit going, bro? Like this shit easy. This shit low key easy. It's hard, but it's easy because it's hard because I'm doing it by myself. But hell yeah, if I ain't in them rooms, why, why would niggas say my own? Because you got to realize, bro, look what you saying. Man, it's not woo So it might be motherfuckers who really, who, who might not fuck with me on the know, but they ain't telling me because niggas know I, I get on that with you. But yeah. guess what? Why would they say my name? They scared of me. Look what you just said. Look at my rap sheet. You know what I'm saying? They scared of me. Decorate. Because I did this shit without it. Decorate. Without dick sucking, without any of that, my nigga. And niggas be like, damn, how the fuck you do that? What do you, woo, 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 woo. Like, I don't throw shade on nobody, nigga. I should love to everybody, bro. Nigga can fuck my bitch, nigga. I should shake Ooh, your hand. That, hey, I... <laughs> <laughs> Watch that shit. I mean, it, if, it's a, if it's a random, okay. Yeah, but nah, damn. That's my main. No, no, no. My main, nigga. We the, shit, what's going the, on? My bitch? That's yeah. great. But I'm just saying, though, like, I understand the game, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got some good women. Everybody be thinking all these bitches are ours. Nah, niggas, just our turn, bro. Nothing this bad. bitch gonna do this. You get fucked up, but some go left, nigga. That bitch gonna skate on you or anything, nigga. Is is that's how it go, bro? You know. So I don't. When you got a good one, you got a good one. You know it. But then when you know you got one that you gotta do, do that. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Nigga, just you know. But hell yeah, man. I didn't. One thing. A lot of people know it, but they don't see it. Like. When they come to opening these doors for this bitch, bro, I open the doors for this bitch. I'm part of that. You know? mm. I ain't gonna just say like nigga, me and me only, cause we all opening the doors. But before nigga, nobody came here. You can't tell yeah. me what rapper came here for one nigga. They wouldn't even come here because Trick was gonna yeah. get on your ass. Trick gave the keys to me, and I'm like nigga, I'm fuck with everybody. Come through this bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, wasn't nobody coming here, bro. They was scared of us, bro. They knew we was gonna ride the shit out of them. You feel me? We gonna get on your ass. Hey, Cal, we like that. Cal used to say, "Ain't do this do this show in Detroit. Ain't nobody gonna get killed." Man, <laughs> you, feel me? you feel me? So it's like it's like, it's like you know. Fact. I made every nigga that came here, bro. I made I made them feel good, and it's like I don't give a fuck to talk about this shit no more because it's history, yeah. nigga. I done did shit that. Motherfucker, you already right, bro. Grab one of my drinks, bro. I oh yeah, you it. already, you already did that. Now I seen you on. I seen the last link of. I don't know when that was, but with Boosie, he's talking about the fight and shit. Like that's love. Come man. on, bro. Shout I got Boosie. Then I just tell you, that's my idol. Yeah, I, I have seen my idol yeah. on the side of me, nigga. Like, come on, yeah. bro. Like I'm, I'm having fun, bro. Like I don't give a fuck about nobody hating on me, no, no, nigga. I'm having fun, my nigga. You can't do what I do. You can't get on the plane and go chill over here. You can't do this. You can't count this much and put this up. Yeah. You can't you can't afford this car. Like nigga, why the fuck would I you post the hate, nigga? Yeah. What the fuck you talking about? I got more than you. You hating ass nigga. That's how you gonna stay where you at. You yeah. feel me? But far as like, hell nah, man, it's just I'm about to get this music going so hard, right, bro. Just remember this interview, bro. Like, damn, that nigga said this shit three months later, bro. Three to six months later, bro. This nigga one of them ones. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna get my respect that I deserve. Yeah. You feel me? The dog. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm God, I'm coming. And it's 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 like that, man, but it's I love what I'm doing. I learned. You feel me? I'm ready to. I'm ready to go in. It's just I don't be. I don't be mind that hate shit, bro. That shit put a battery in my back. Sometimes I get on the ass, bro. I see a comment, I, boy, you gotta be fucked up. But hell yeah, nah, boy, you get your Instagram I took like that. Y'all can have that shit. Yeah, we, he already experienced that before, so we, we don't want. We don't, don't want to go out. We don't want to go out like that again. Before we get up out here, I gotta ask you yeah. this last thing because we we spoke on the the dirt and NBA young boy. I'm not really hip on the, the the situation. Do you feel like whatever situation can be reconciled? Woohoo. Dark and young boy. I stay, stay, out, of, I stay, stay, out, stay out, out of that. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, I stay out of that shit. All right. <laughs> yeah, I stay. I ain't got nothing to do. I stay out of that shit. All right. Well, we don't want no no bad things to happen to anybody. Praise yeah. Jesus, y'all. You know, be good to each other, man. Yeah. We're all brothers. Peace, yeah. love, and happiness. This is another episode of Meet the Connect. I'm your favorite Uncle Spooty, the neighborhood supporter. You already know what the fuck going on, nigga. It's Mr. Snap Dog, nigga. Mr. Problem Child himself. Son out guns out your skits. They your bitch ass in the house on Jesus. Sons we sliding and gliding. And we ain't high, nigga. You know, hey, Red Bull. Call my motherfucking phone, nigga. Because I'm going to have y'all shit lit. Yeah. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, we out.